Daddy's late again, isn't he? Do you know where he'll be, Davy? Down the wall pack. I got this new barmaid there, Dolly A. Castor. All tight trousers and no bra. <sighs> She's dead common. I'll give him what for when he gets home. You see if I don't. <laughs> there. This was going to be the best Christmas ever. It still will be. Just a day or two late. Mrs Tate. Sorry, I was... We should get the media to help. A press conference. It's a good idea, Kim. Somebody might have seen something. If you make an appeal, if you let people see what it's doing to you... No, Kim. Whoever's done this, Inspector, has done it to hurt me. If they see me, see what it's doing, then they know they've won. You do it. You appeal for help, witnesses. Mrs Tate, the press, the TV boys, they don't want me. What? It makes a better story. An upset mother who should be playing with a baby son on Christmas Day. That's sick, Inspector. Maybe. But if we want to get James back... No! I can't. I'm sorry. We'll try Kim again later, if there's no news. Mr Marchant, if someone has kidnapped James for money, well, they'll be in touch soon. What if it's something else? And time's of the essence. Speak to Mrs Tate, will you? Persuade her. All right. Hi. Any news? Nothing. Been out looking? Yeah, me and our Roy. How's Jan? Hey. Oh, not much she cares about James. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do they reckon, then? Well, I'm not saying much. He's probably been taken. Oh, heck. We don't know that. If he'd wandered off, we'd have found him by now. Yeah, but who'd want to take him? I really don't know. To be quite honest, I just don't want to think about it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Listen, um, I was thinking if we can sort this without the police, you know. What do you mean? Ransom, that sort of thing. I don't know, it's just, uh, you know, you hear of these women who are sick and that, you know, taking babbage. Ned. This wasn't some poor woman who just walked into home farm and took James out of his playpen. Yeah, if you want to know, I think it's probably a money thing. They're just making a sweat. What are you doing? Making a list. Thank yous for Christmas presents. How organised you are. Coffee? Please. Have you nothing better to do than make smart remarks? Not really, no. Then why don't you keep your big mouth shut and your nose out of it? In case you'd forgotten, that's my half-brother out there. Now, I can't do a thing stuck like this, but if I could, I'd be looking for him day and night, not creeping round Kim like some flaming lapdog. Oh, the pair of you just shut up! James could well be lying dead out there somewhere. Hello? No. This is not Mrs Tate. No, she has no comment to make. If there's a press conference, you'll be notified. Right, that's it. I can't take any more. I'm going out myself to look for him. The police are to stay here. Yeah, well, stuff the police. Stuff the lot of you. She's nowhere around here, right, lad. Somebody to come across her before now. So you still reckon she's got young on you? It makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it's the last thing it does. I don't know, maybe we should drink police or something. It might have made things a bit better for Kim, you know. No. She was at home when James went missing, she might come back again. I was thinking about that, right? If she was here yesterday, where were he? God knows. I just hope it was somewhere safe. Look, if she came here yesterday, it'd be here now, is she? Yeah, but why did she say St Mary's and not just the church? And why was she going to Hutton? Oh, no, I've just thought on. What? St Mary's at Hutton. It's the old maternity hospital where our Dave was born. She'll be there, Roy, I know it. So what do you want to do, then? I'll go look there, you'll go home in case she comes back. Well, she ain't going to go back there, Matt. It'll be away. getting dark soon, so she might come back. Just go. Go on! One day, you'll have lots of brothers and sisters. And Daddy'll have a big farm all of his own. He won't be working for the Vernies up at home farm then. 
That's why I can't be here now. Because he has to work hard all day long. It starts getting dark, I'll be home soon. I'll tell you a story. He might even read to you. Look, Rupert. Rupert the bear. You like him, don't you? Yeah. Yes. Says he needs to see you. Not now, Roy. Look, Kim, I need a word. Alone. Right, before I say out, you've got to promise me not to say a word to any of them out there. Who, the police? Roy, if you know Look, something... Look, please! Forgot... Yeah, all right, I promise. My dad thinks that my mum might have James. What? Like she's just been acting a little bit... Where? The old maternity ward where our Dave were born, St Mary's. But that's derelict. Yeah, we know that, but my dad's going to have a look now. Come on, we've got to go. Roy, go out this way and you won't see this guy. Oh, I'll just go get my mobile here. You start the car. Give us the baby and we'll go home. Then. This is home. Oh, look at it, Jan. It's derelict. I've made it as nice as I can. Come on, it'll avoid trouble. Are you threatening me? Everyone said what a good catch you were, even my mother. If they knew what you were really like... Mm. Who's that? What the hell are you doing here? You stupid! Oh, sure, she'll frighten David. Look, it's all right, Mum. Uh, nurse has come to take David for some tests. What tests? Just his hearing and that. You like playing ball, don't you? Come on, let's go play ball. Who are you? She's just one at nurses. Look, Mum, she, he's going to be fine. Honest. Come on. He's a good boy. He's very bright, you know. Yeah, he is. Got more brains than his dad. Oh, sweetheart. OK, I've got him. Come and get her. Kim, you promised. Janice Glover, you're under arrest. What's happening? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand the caution, Mrs Glover? Come on, James. Time to go home.